we all float down here. Hey, what's up, you guys? Film fan 0599 here again, and today we're going to review it. So it stars Jaden uh, Lionberg, um, Sophia Lillis, uh, Jeremy Wright Taylor, uh, Finn Wolfhard, and Bill Skarsgård. And what this film is basically about, it's about these kids called the Losers Club. And what happens is, is there's some things that they start to notice are really strange and really odd, especially with this, this entity called Pennywise the Dancing Clown. And now they have to try and stop Pennywise the Dancing Clown before more kids go missing. So, what did I think of it? Now, it I was very excited for. I thought this looked really great. I went into this with some pretty high expectations. I thought this could have been a really fantastic horror film. And I was very excited for it. The trailers were great. Uh, the marketing was fantastic. Like, everything leading up to this was great. Then I saw the movie. Man, was I disappointed. This is so mediocre. Like, my god almighty, this movie is so just mediocre. Like, it really is. It's just so okay. Like, I didn't really enjoy this movie, honestly. Like, it's not an awful film to me, really. But, man, is it so mediocre, honestly. It's, it's just it's so mediocre, this movie, to me. Like, I just did not care for this movie honestly it was just downright mediocre honestly it was so okay but i do have positives with this film so let's get into them my positives are first being some of the acting some of the acting was pretty solid in the movie like there there were some times where i did think the acting was pretty good like jaden uh jaden um lionberg 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 however you say his last name he was great. I thought he did a great job as Billy. I enjoyed him in the movie. He was definitely one of the best two actors in the movie. Like, he was really fantastic. Like, he did a really great job to me. I did enjoy him in this film. Like, he did do a fantastic job. Sophia Lillis as Beverly was also great. I loved her in this movie. She did such a fantastic job. You know, she really brought a lot of emotion to her character, which I thought, she, you know, she did a fantastic job with that. She really did bring a lot of emotion to her character, and I did really like her in this film. She did do a great job. Uh, Jeremy Ray Taylor as uh, Ben, I thought he was pretty solid too. I did like him in the movie. He did do a pretty good job. So, uh, yeah, and then Bill Skarsgård, some parts. Now, I was very mixed on him. I'll explain more later, but there are some moments where I did think he did do a pretty good job. I did find him pretty terrifying in some moments, so yeah. So yeah, some of the acting is pretty solid in the movie. Um, the sc uh, There are some moments that this movie is scary. Like, there are some moments in this film where I did find it scary. I was like, okay, that was pretty good. I did think that was pretty terrifying. So yeah, there are some moments in this movie where I do think it is scary and it is pretty terrifying. But that's just really some moments in this film, honestly. Next, I did think there was chemistry with the Losers Club. I will say they do have pretty great chemistry with each other. And I do think it is the best element of this entire film. I do think they do have some pretty solid chemistry with each other. I did think they do, do a pretty good job. So yeah, the chemistry with the Losers Club is pretty good. Uh, the musical score is really great too, though. Like, I did think the musical score was really fantastic with this film. Like, I did think the musical score was really great. And lastly, the directing was really good with the movie. I did think the the directing did have some pretty solid directing towards it. Um, it's pretty well shot. Uh, editing is pretty good. Um, cinematography is really good as well. So yeah, it's a very well shot movie. I did think the pretty uh, the directing was uh pretty pretty solid. It's definitely some pretty solid directing in my eyes. So yeah. Now the negatives. Oh boy. The negatives with this film for me are first being the acting. The acting for the most part in this movie is really, really terrible. Um, the First being two people in the Losers Club really got on my nerves. First being Wolf, uh, Finn Wolfhard as Richie. 
God, was he annoying. My my God Almighty, was he annoying in this movie. I, I did not enjoy him in this film. Like, there are some elements where he was good. There were, like, some points during this movie, but for the most part, God, was he just obnoxious and annoying. All he did was make, like, mama jokes and penis jokes. That's all this kid, this character did to me. Like, he was just so annoying and obnoxious in this movie. And honestly, I didn't enjoy him. He was really, by far, honestly, my least favorite kid out of anybody in the Losers Club. He was so obnoxious and... He was just so annoying to watch. Like, he was just so annoying. And Phil and Wolfhard really didn't do a good job for the most part for me, really, as his character. He was so annoying. And same goes with the kid that plays Eddie. He was kind, he kind of got on my nerves, too, for the uh, um for... Uh, well, he was really 50-50, honestly. There were some moments where he was really good, and then there were some moments where he just really got on my nerves. And he was just so annoying at points during this movie like he really got on my nerves and the kids that played and the kids that played the bullies man wow that was just awful they were so over the top and so bad honestly the kids that played the bullies in this movie it felt like they were in a completely different movie like they felt like a cartoon honestly whenever i saw them on screen it felt like i was watching a cartoon D dead serious like they are so over the top, and they overact so much in this movie that it was honestly laughable. Like, it was honestly laughable, to be completely honest with you, just of how bad they were in this movie. Like, they act so over the toply in this movie that it's so bad. And Bill Skarsgård, man, like, I say he was very 50-50 with me. I was very mixed with him. Like I said, there are some moments where he is creepy as Pennywise. I did think he did a pretty solid job. But other times, man, was it just... He was so over the top. Like, he was so goofy. Listen, before you say, oh, that's supposed to be... Listen, I get it. He's called Pennywise the Dancing Clown. I get that. But, however, it just doesn't work for me. It really doesn't. It just comes off as goofy and silly, honestly. And it does not come off as terrifying. Whenever he's acting like that, like goofy and really just over the top, it just doesn't work for me. It's just, it's really bad to watch on screen. Like, it really is. It's really, really terrible. I really thought he just didn't do that good of a job at points. Like, he just acted so goofy and so over the top. And I honestly found it hard to take him seriously at points. Like I said, there are some points in the movie where I did think he did a pretty solid job. But there are other moments in this movie where I did think he didn't do that great of a job, honestly. So, yeah. And the movie really isn't that scary to me for the most part, honestly. Like, I'm like, alright. Like, I'm literally sitting there whenever something that's supposed to be creepy happens. I'm just like, alright. Okay. Alright. Like, it, it's just, it, it wasn't that creepy, honestly, to me. It just came off as goofy and stupid. For the most part, really, it just came off as goofy and silly. It, it really did. It just it didn't feel scary to me for the most part, honestly. It just felt goofy and silly for the most part. It really did. For a majority of it, it just felt goofy and silly. And I really didn't find it that scary. Also, this movie tries way too hard to go balls to the wall. Like... It's just so many things are thrown at you on screen in this movie that you are just like, what is going on? Like, seriously, there are some times where this movie doesn't make any sense. Like, seriously, like, it's, things are just randomly thrown in here. Especially a scene with, like, a projector. That's all I'm gonna say because I don't really want to spoil it. There's a scene that involves a projector. When I saw that, I'm like, what am I watching? Like, I honestly... This movie made me go, what the heck, so many times, but not in a good way. Just in a really, just bad way, honestly. Just, it, it goes so over the top that it just, it doesn't make any sense at points. Like, it really doesn't. Like, there are some moments in this movie where it just goes so overboard, and it just goes so hard to go, like, balls to the wall with this movie, that it's just, it's bad. And it comes off as sloppy, and it becomes a train wreck at some points. Oh my god, and 
the writing is so atrocious with this movie. Honestly, I really thought the writing wasn't that good with this film. Just the way of some certain situations that happened in this movie, just, it wasn't that good. Like, the writing is not that great with this movie. It's really not that good. It's pretty poorly written, this movie. The visual effects, oh my god. Like, the visual effects with this movie are so, so bad. Definitely some of the worst CGI I've seen all year. Like, the special effects with it are so bad. They are so, so terrible. I thought the special effects were really terrible with this movie. And lastly, this movie moves at a snail's pace. This movie is boring. Like, there are so many times where I just felt so bored watching this. Really, like, the movie is 2 hours and 14 minutes, if I'm not mistaken. And it moves at such a snail's pace, it felt like three hours. Like, it just would not move along. Like, I'm just like, get to the point already! Like, it was just dragging so on and on this movie. I was just like, alright. Like, it was so boring to watch this movie. <sighs> Overall, it... Just what a mediocre movie, honestly. You know, I know this movie is getting tons of praise. And I know a lot of people are loving it. And cool, you know, if you love the movie, I'm fine with that. Alright? If you love the movie, that's great for you. But for me personally, I just walked out of this movie just having... Just being like... That was so mediocre. That's literally what was my reaction after seeing this movie. was just... It, I, it was so bland and so mediocre to me that I could just care less, honestly. So aside from my official grade on it, and my official grade on it is a C. Like I said, it's an okay movie. It's so mediocre. It, it really tries so hard to be scary, and it really isn't that scary for the most part, honestly. It's just, it comes off as goofy and silly, and I find it way too hard to take it seriously, honestly. It's just... It's not that good of a film to me. It's kind of a train wreck at some points, honestly. It just doesn't... It's just not that good of a film. I didn't really enjoy it, honestly. So yeah, definitely deserves a C. It's an okay movie. Definitely one of the most overrated films of the year. I, I really don't get the praise with it. It's so mediocre. And I really didn't enjoy it. So yeah, definitely deserves a C. So if you have seen it, what did you think about it? Leave it in the comments section below. And I'm FilmFanL599, and we will see you both later. Peace.